So here with Erica from Kenya. And Erica, I'd also just like to ask you a couple of questions. So we hear that Kenya has been very economical progress in the country in Africa. There was a big issue in, in Kenya where people just take their cash in their pockets after work and then a lot of people get robbed. So the government created this program called M-Pesa, a financial company where you can just simply store your money in a, SM, in a SIM card and just send it through SMS. Can you talk about it, your experience using it and what do you think the future will be like? Um, M-Pesa is very convenient, especially because you don't need to have a smartphone. So there's no app on your phone. If you have a Safaricom SIM card, even if it's um, a really small phone that's about like 50 kwai, less than 50 kwai, you can be able to go to a shop, give them money and they top, they send you the money so you have money on your SIM card. So even if you lose your phone, your SIM card still has the money. And anywhere you go, you can still use the same SIM card or get a new SIM card with your ID that still has the same money that's on it. ID. Yeah, with the Kenyan ID. Um, it's very convenient because you send money to one another, almost like Alipay and WeChat. But you don't need to have any internet. It doesn't cost you. Um, you don't need Wi-Fi, which is a problem. Like in China, yeah. there's a lot of internet everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But in Kenya, it's hard to get access yeah. to internet. So you don't need internet. You don't need anything. You just need signal, and you send money from one person to the other person, and it sends instantly, directly. You can also link your bank card to it, just like Alipay, and it takes money from or deposits it in your bank account instantly. You don't need to wait for 24 hours or anything like Does that. Does everyone have a bank account in Kenya? Is it easy to open, or they just prefer to use the SIM card? And just send money? I would say that more people have M-Pesa than bank accounts because M-Pesa is like a bank yeah. so the, there was one day where M-Pesa was down for about five hours and it was Whoa. almost a national crisis because it's like result. a bank crashing M-Pesa is very important in our country especially for low income um, people who need to send it like just like you said so that they yeah. don't get um, stolen from okay. or anything like that so the phone they'll have is almost like a burner phone it's really small like cheap phone, yeah, Nokia, so cheap, like, but you can yeah, have yeah. a lot of money on that, and no one can access it, of course. What's the maximum amount you can put on the phone? Um, no maximum amount to put on it, but for you to send in a day, you can't send more than 70,000 Kenya shillings, which is about seven seven hundred dollars okay. but obviously if you go to a person make a special request you can do it but they just track the money flow okay. just to make sure there's no issues with corruption because that's yeah. where that could come into play yeah, my other question is, what if I steal your phone? Can mm -hmm. I just use the M-Pesa anywhere or no, need your you, PIN or something? If you don't have my PIN, even if you do have my PIN, so for example, if I send M-Pesa to the wrong person, okay. so I'm supposed to send you money yeah. and then um, for some reason I click on a different name or I get your number wrong and I send it to someone else, you can yeah. call and re, um, reverse the action, whatever oh. you've done and so if somebody steals your card for example you get notifications every single time um so a transaction is made okay. and at the end of the month you get a statement so if you yeah. say it was stolen you'll get your money back and they'll be able to track who had that money because the vendors who let you withdraw money yeah. keep um they keep they records keep track. yeah okay. they keep track okay, yeah. And as recently you probably know, Bitcoin has become pretty famous in our world. Yeah. And quick question, I want to ask you in the name of everyone in Kenya and mm -hmm. you as a Kenyan, what is your <laughs> opinion of Bitcoin and what do you think that the people think about Bitcoin? Is it a scam? Is it something from foreigners? Uh. Do you think it's something bad? What do you think that can do? And yeah, what's your opinion? I can't speak for all of Kenya, obviously, but um, Bitcoin isn't as much of a it's not as much of a crazy like thing as it is in different countries as it is in Kenya because a lot of people are still scared of the internet because yeah. they're not necessarily sure what's going on on the internet not the majority of the country but um, transactions on the internet even internet banking they trust the mobile banking because from my sim card to your sim card okay. something goes wrong I make a call it comes back yeah. but um, the worry of putting your money in something that's invisible is still a concept that so not many people have adjusted to yet but I do think that there's potential because 
the rate the economy is growing at and the amount of entrepreneurship in our economy yeah. like you can see people are opening their minds up to yeah. more western ideals and different companies yeah okay that sounds pretty interesting i guess that's all for today thank you so much yeah. thank you for